Bermuda. It's 648 miles east-southeast of Cape Hatteras and is located in the western edge of the Sargasso Sea within the Atlantic Ocean. Yeah, we'll get to that one in a second. It's far enough north to share the same latitude as popular beach destinations of South Carolina. So what does Bermuda have that South Carolina doesn't? Ocean on all sides with no continental polar air masses to deal with. Believe it or not, this tiny speck of the world shares the same climate type as parts of southern Florida, subtropical, bordering tropical rainforest. It's all thanks to the currents in the North Atlantic, the Gulf Stream, the Azores Current, Canary Current, North Equatorial Current, and finally, bringing this full circle, is the Antilles Current. What lies in the middle of this gyre? the Sargasso Sea. That's right everyone, a sea within an ocean with borders that are not visible but certainly felt. So why Sargasso? It's because of the abundance of brown Sargassum seaweed found floating in the calm waters of this region. Ocean currents play a crucial role with climates across the world, and Bermuda is a great example of this lying in the northwest periphery of this gyre. It's how an island this far north can have coral reefs, and even in the dead of winter, temperatures can stay in the 60s both day and night. So it's early May, and you decide to take a cruise to Bermuda. You set sail with a chilly breeze from the cool waters off the coast, but something magical happens as you head southeast. You cross the Gulf Stream. Suddenly, this cold air starts to become modified by warm ocean waters. You'll really start to notice this as you head through your second sea day. Suddenly, highs in the mid to upper 70s and lows barely dropping below 70 seem like paradise. So if you're like me and don't like to be shocked with a ton of heat and humidity on your first vacation of the year, a mid-spring cruise to Bermuda is the perfect climate for you.